Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a dollar day haul and it's a pretty big one for me. Dollar days are very hit or miss. Sometimes I go in, I can't find any dollar items. The breakdown of this stuff per item was $4.24 per item. Now some of them were a dollar, actually quite a few of them were a dollar, which I was excited about, but some of them I did pay full price for. So I'm really excited to share this one with you. I found some good stuff and um, yeah. If you are interested in reselling, thrifting, Poshmark, eBay, any of that kind of stuff, and you aren't subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And as always, if you like these hauls, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I have been listing more, so I have been having to buy more, and I have been having to do more thrift hauls, <laughs> which, you know, and they're also a little longer. So go grab your, your coffee. I've got my tea right here. This is a mug that I bought from another reseller. Tanya over at Thrifty Treasures. She is one of my favorite hard goods uh, sellers to watch on YouTube. And she posted this on her Instagram a while ago and, I was, and she sold it on Mercari. And I went and snatched it up because I was like, I have some Mercari credits and I absolutely need that mug. All right, so I have a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna try and move through pretty quickly. But uh, I think this might be the only item that has sold and I need to get this shipped out tomorrow. So, and this, oh man, I can't tell you the remorse when I learned what this label was and I saw it at the bins and there was no material tag and I could not for the life of me figure out what is G dot. And then I was at the bins like a few months later, this was all, you know, a year and a half, two years ago. And someone was talking about, they had found this and they were talking about it and they're like, it's goop. It's Gwyneth Paltrow's goop line. And I'm like, that's that brand that I left at the bins and I couldn't figure out what it was, but I knew the style was good. I should have picked it up. Oh, so much regret and remorse. Anyways, I found it again. This is the first time I'm actually selling it and it has already sold. <laughs> and uh, this is a sweatshirt. So Goop, um, they do expensive skincare, cleanses, clothing. It's expensive and it's very trendy, very posh. This is just a sweatshirt, but I did find the photo of Gwyneth wearing the sweatshirt um, on a different listing. So this is a size medium. It's, you can see the labels got some wear. The, the uh, crew neck is a little stretched out. This bottom part is a little stretched out. I noted all of it and I still listed for 74. I got two $25 offers within four or five hours. I got another offer for $40 a couple hours later and then I finally got an offer for $50 and I happily accepted because it isn't in the best condition and it's selling in a day and I was so excited to find this brand again. So if you ever see G dot, it is goop. Google it. <laughs> so this is getting shipped out tomorrow. I'm so excited about that one. I still regret that other one, but you know, you just got to move on. We make mistakes. All right. I pulled that out because I was so excited to share that one with you. Everything else is a hodgepodge. If it's a lower value item, I more than likely spend a dollar on it. If it's not, I spend anywhere from, you know, three to $10 on it. Um, <laughs> some of it was on sale for 25% off and some of it was regular price. So, all right, this is a brand that I see people pick up all the time. And I know it doesn't have the best resale value on a lot of stuff, but I never see it. And I mean, never. So I don't know if it's just not something that's like, an LA thing, but it's Lily Pulitzer. This is a beautiful blue lace dress. I feel like this is perfect for a wedding guest dress. It's got this little ribbon on the back neck. It's got a little bit of the exposed zipper. Oh my gosh, I think I've only sold Lily two or three times. And it's not for like not seeing it. I, I don't pass on it. It's, I mean, I would pass on it if it weren't the right price, but this was a dollar. So I thought, I'm not even looking at comps. I never find it. I'm excited to try and sell it because it's a dress and I think it's beautiful. Um, and I have listed all of this stuff within the last week or two because I'm mixing all my hauls at the moment. So I'm going to give you a guesstimate on what I think I should be able to get. Um, and, you know, a little more, a little less, but everything is listed if you want to see how I'm pricing things. And I'm expecting for the most part about 30% off my asking price, unless it sits too long and then it might go for a little bit less. But all right, this is a cycling jersey. If you've watched any of my hauls, you know I love picking up cycling. I just sold a pair of cycling shoes this morning that had only been listed a couple days and they were damaged. Um, I am a cyclist, although I don't ride too much anymore, but I've done a lot of century rides and triathlons. And so I love picking up cycling stuff. This is Pearl Azumi. 
that's what that little logo is. This is an older jersey, uh, size medium for men's. You can always usually tell it's a cycling jersey because it's got these pockets in the back. That's where you keep your food when you're riding. If you're going for a 50, you know, metric century or century, you're going to be eating while riding. And so you just keep your, your goo and bananas and any like thing that's easy to eat while you're riding in those back pockets. So this is kind of a purple blue color. It's got a few spots on it, but still hoping the dress, I don't know what to get, maybe 35. Um, with this, maybe only about 20 because it's not in great condition, but it was only a dollar. All right, this is Intimately Free by Free People. I'm tempted to keep it. Oh man, it's like my favorite. I mean, green's my favorite color, but this is kind of a, a different shade of green and this is my absolute favorite. Um, so this is a little oversized, size small, and it does have a small pinhole on the back. I don't know if it's gonna pick up right here. So I just noted that it's very tiny. Um, I still think this is beautiful. One of these had sold for about 25 um, recently. So with that small hole, I'm expecting maybe about 20. This is a beautiful little dress. And I have picked up this designer a couple times. It is a silk light blue kind of faux wrap mini dress. This is by Yumi Kim and size small. There is, there are two little belt loops and there's this little tie. I think you could wear, you could cut the loops and wear it as is. You could tie the tie either way. It has a little exposed zipper on the back. But uh, the thing that I didn't notice until I got it under light, and I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up with the natural light, is right on this crease, there's a little bit of discoloration. It's very faint, very subtle. I still noted it. So because of that, I might only get about 30 to 35. If I didn't, I might be able to get closer to 40 for that piece, um, but yeah. All right, this one actually already sold. This sold this morning, so I take that back. This is a brand I've only picked up once before. I think it's a boutique brand. To be honest, I haven't done the research on it, but Sailor, uh, this is a really adorable boho uh, blouse. I obviously picked it up for style. It's absolutely adorable, kind of has Johnny Wes vibes. So this sold in a bundle this morning. I don't remember what it sold for. Well, it was 30% off the asking price. And I think I started this a little bit high because I thought it was so great. So I think I started this at about 39. So it probably sold for, you know, high 20s, which is great because it's a quick flip. But um, that brand, a lot of stuff doesn't seem to sell for very much. So if I were to see that brand, I would still look at comparable styles. Um, but that I could not pass on. This is a designer I've only found once or twice. It's torn by Ronnie Kobo, I believe. This is a, such a fun yellow. It's kind of almost like a bodycon dress and it's got this texture to it, which is absolutely adorable. Nothing besides that. There is right down here, um, a couple like on the creases. Again, maybe this is the same person. What are they doing with their creases? Um, like a line right there and a little line right up here. I'm sure a dry cleaner could get that up, get that out, uh, but I wasn't gonna put any work into it. I still think it's a great dress. That's very, very minor. I can barely see it. So with this one, I'm hoping for about 30 to 35. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, I keep passing this on this one because it's a bummer. <laughs> Cause it's a, it's, it's a great designer and there's a flaw and I can't believe I didn't see it in the store, but it's Roland Murray. Um, Diana and Gossip Girl, I sold a, a dress that she wore by this designer. Uh, this probably retailed for a couple thousand, two to three thousand. Um, it's this purple dress. It's got this draping. It actually has a clasp up here, which well, I guess I'll put together so you can kind of see. So it's got like a hole right here, but it's got this draping on the front, long sleeve, just a lot of gathering movement. This is a size, I know this is itching, size US six. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I certainly couldn't at the thrift store, but I was just too excited by the label. I was blinded. Okay, let me get a little closer. Can you see right here and right here? What in the world? It's not even in the armpit area. Armpit is down here. It's just these two discolorated areas, right? 
Like it would be right about here on someone. I don't understand. And mind you, I am a, I, I don't mind sweating. A lot of people sweat. It's not a bad thing. It's, it's not a big deal. But if you sweat right here, you probably sweat down here and that's where the crease is. So you would think if it was sweat, it would be discoloration all under the armpit. I don't know what in the world. So I'm still listing this little high. I still said in the listing that this could be an upcycling project. Someone could just cut that area off if they wanted to. It's still just a beautiful designer piece. I don't know what I would do with it. If it were my size, I'd keep it. Not that I have anywhere to wear that to, but um, I still think there's potential. So I, I listed a little high. I think I started at around 69 or 59 or something. I'm still hoping for 35 to 40, even if it sits for a while, um, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. But if it was in perfect condition, I probably would have started right around 100. Um, some, of the, some of the pieces go for a lot more, but comparable to that, that's kind of what I found. So, all right, here's another designer. This is Robert Rodriguez. Uh, his stuff doesn't do as well, so I actually have passed on his stuff quite a bit, but this is silk. It's got an elastic waist, kind of a tied elastic waist. It's got these like fitted sleeves and then the dolman sleeve under that area. Size zero, but I just thought this was such like a classic. You know, animal print is just so classic. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And um, with that one, I might only get about 30. All right, this was one of my favorite pieces. If it was fall, I would wear it a few times before selling it, but I'm not gonna hold on to it if I don't have to. Uh, it's Zara Knit, it's a size large. It's this beautiful beige cardigan with a le like a leather or faux leather trim on the pockets. And then the trim is actually all around the neck and then down the front. So it's absolutely just a great capsule piece, in my opinion, um, just because it's so um, oversized and, you know, you toss this on with some skinny jeans and a top and it's just classy. It's got a little bit of three, four sleeves. I should probably note that almost like a kimono um, robe style is how it feels. But anyways, I thought this was a great piece. The comps did not look that great for it as with many Zara pieces, but because of the size, and I think it's just a matter of, you know, who's been buying heavy sweaters in the last few months. Um, I'm hoping for maybe about 30 to 35 for that, probably 30. All right, this was a new to me brand. Whoops, super fine. It's a UK brand is what I have discovered. And this is adorable. Um, it's got a little bit of like the moto flair to it. It's got this striped accent on one side, the snap asymmetrical down the front. This says a size large. It's, it's a barely fitting on my size six mannequin. So, uh, but it is international large. So it's a US 30. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. I, I put this under six because it fit perfectly on the size six mannequin so and i just explained but here's the material tag um yeah so anyways it's got shoulder pads it's just a great basic uh very trendy looking this is a pretty expensive brand it doesn't have the most consistent comps here though so i'm gonna see how that one does they do make a lot of denim everything uh, i think a lot of the stuff i found was super fine denim um, so we'll see how that does. That is a denim material, but I didn't see any other jackets or I didn't see a jacket like that, but all right, this one is adorable. A really great spring summer dress. Really love this print. It's got pockets. It's got the V neck and then the straps. It does have this little tie, which all the other stock photos that I found didn't have a tie attached. So I don't know if they didn't have ties or if that is it's the same material. Is it the same material? Maybe it's not. You know what? That's exactly what it is. I don't think it's the same print. So maybe the previous owner used this as a waist tie. That's what it is. I should take this off. It's not because it's a different, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Sometimes I love when I discover things on camera. Uh, okay. So it does not have a tie, just like all of the stock images. <laughs> We're just gonna toss that. I thought it was so strange because I, I didn't see any little waist things and there's pockets. Okay, so we're just gonna start over. This is J. Crew collection. Oh, geez. 
It is uh, very hard to read, but it's a size four. This is their higher end line, but it doesn't really garner too much more for me, at least in the pieces I've looked up and tried to sell. But this I picked up more off of style. It was only a dollar. Keep in mind when I say it's only a dollar, um, I still drive quite a distance to go thrifting. So in the time to get to sourcing and you know the gas money and all of that, these items for me do cost more. Um, but if you were in the LA area and you, you were near this store, it would only cost you a dollar. So, all right, this is and other stories, which is part of the H and M family. They have like some different higher end lines. This is one of their, it's a little bit higher than the H and M brand, but it's just a black dress. This was terrible to photograph. I need to try and get more photos of this waist accent. Cause I think it's so fun, but it's just got this texture to it. The stripe texture. I think that little gathering at the waist is so flattering, cover any like pooch that you might have. Um, this is a size US four and I just thought it was a great basic. I love little black dresses. It's a, it's a weak spot and they're usually harder for me to sell, but here we are. All right. LNA. This is a, I believe it's a Los Angeles based company and some of their stuff can do pretty well. Most of the stuff I pick up goes from 20 to $40. This is just a little mini kind of casual shift dress, lightweight. A lot of them do have kind of these, I wouldn't even, uh, maybe a cutout, but they have those little accents, maybe just on one side. This is a size extra small. And I just thought this was a great little basic just to run your errands on a Saturday morning. So with that one, I'm maybe getting about 20 to 25. Loved this. This is CP Shades. Um, the shirt is just one of their lines, but under it, if you can see, it does say CP shades. Yeah, it's just very hard to read their labels. Anyways, this is a linen button front shirt and it just kind of has some texture to it. With that texture comes some pulls. So if you can see, there's some like small pulls like that. Not a big deal. I still think I should be able to, to get 45, probably about somewhere between 40 and 50 for this probably 40 to 45. So, and this one was a size small, just, it's, it's more, yeah, it's a size small, but it's a handwritten label. Um, their stuff tends to be a little bit more oversized, a little bit more of the lag and look stuff style and really love selling CP shades. I believe it's a Sausalito company, which is Bay area. It's in the North Bay, kind of on your way to Napa from San Francisco. Um, I believe that's where that company is from. All right, this is a really great brand that I've had pretty good luck with, Raquel Allegra. And I can't do anything about the cursive. <laughs> it's just hard to read, but this is just a basic. It's a long sleeve, kind of a pencil dress, midi length, just a great basic. Uh, <clears throat> this, I did not realize at the time, does have a pull, small hole, but it doesn't go all the way through. Where is it? Now I can't even see it. So right here, it's a small hole on the outside, but there's actually a gray lining underneath. So that's what, why you see a little bit of the gray. So I just noted it. Um, if this was in great shape, I might start this around 74, but because it does have that flaw, probably started this around 49 and I'm expecting 30 to 35. All right, I found two of these cardigans. Uh, let's see, yeah two of these cardigans and one is flawed. The other one isn't neither. I would probably pick up again, but they were a dollar. I saw both of them right next to each other. I really liked this color. So I just, I didn't even look up the comps to be honest. It says Tossie or Tassie or Tossie Malibu. And then it's a size small. Um, this is a cardigan, sleeveless cardigan. And it's got this really great fringe. Some people are saying this is an Urban Outfitters brand. I don't know, could be, could be sold there. It's got a little baby hood. <laughs> like it honestly, I don't think it would, I mean, I guess maybe a little bit. It's not a big hood, you know, like the kind that really dangle. So I think maybe that's just more for looks. I, I don't think it would protect you from much like rain or anything, but yet it's a knit. So anyways, really love this color. It goes down, uh, it kind of is a different, um, lengths on the front. So it's a little bit more shorter in the front, longer in the back. The back is probably almost close to your ankle. 
love this. I might only get for this one because it's in good condition. I might be getting um, 25, maybe 30, just because I think it's so great. This one, unfortunately, is flawed, a little bit pilled. Uh, should have paid closer attention, but it's the exact same style. It's just black, same size, and still has all the fringe, except on the inside, as I hit myself, um, there's a pretty significant pull. I can't really, I mean, you can, you can see it a little bit from the other side, but it's not bad. So, but because that's an area that I think would kind of wave open because it's right on front, I feel like it, it brings down the value. And there's just some light pilling. So this one I might only get 15 to 24, but that's okay. All right, here is a little summer dress, stitch fix. It's a dollar, I'm only probably going to get maybe 20. Um, but my goal this summer, I've upped my listing from about 10 per day to 15 per day. And I've been really working hard so that I hopefully don't encounter too much of a summer slowdown. And with that means I'm also picking up summer pieces that might not sell for very much. And this is just an adorable little dress. It's got a little bit of an elastic waist. I just picked up one like this, uh, very similar to this a couple weeks ago. But this is a medium, I believe. Yeah. And I just like the color. <clears throat> Two different items. Oh, this is a good little sleepwear brand that I've sold a couple times. Um, it's a little bit hard to read, but it's Hanro. You can see it. Hanro of Switzerland. This is just a black nightgown. Um, nothing fancy. It does have this little pleating right on front. It's a midi length. And I'm expecting probably around 30 for this. Some items can go for more. Some can go for a little bit less, but um, I know that a couple times I've sold it, they've sold quickly, which is a good sign. I don't pick up a lot of cabbie, but again, kind of going into the summer, I love this. It does have a little bit of an off the shoulder, um, cold shoulder, I should say, but it's cabbie, extra small, just a cute little floral tank. So I might only get 15 to 18 for that, but it's still cute. This is adorable. <laughs> I feel like this is just a perfect lounge around the house, summer day. Bowden, it's got pineapples little gold pineapples. This is a size six US and it's just a little green shift dress and it's adorable. All right, this is Anthropology plus size, mustard yellow. It's the Chino by Anthropology line, size 14. And Definitely feels like more of a size 14. Sometimes Anthropology plus size can run a little small. This I think actually is pretty on point. It is a wide leg crop um, pant, if you can see or imagine, but stock photos are really adorable. This isn't a style I personally am drawn to, um, but when I see other people rocking it, I'm like, ah, oh, they just have good taste. You know, it's just one of those items that it's like a statement but like a casual, cool statement, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm hoping for about 30 for that. This I was excited about because I've sold this brand a couple times and I knew it did pretty well, but the maxi dresses apparently do pretty well um, or a little bit better. So this is Gypsy 05. I believe it's a Los Angeles based company as well. Um, where does it say? Made in Hollywood, California. Made in Hollywood, California. Okay. So this is a strapless maxi dress. It's got the, oh, what is it called? What is it called? You guys will fill me in or I'll put it on the screen. Anyways, it's a maxi. It's got the dip dye at the bottom. Love this floral print. Smocking. <laughs> so I just don't have the best memory. So I'm terrible at tests and it's got the smocking. So it's comfortable, casual. Love the dip dye. Just really easy to wear. Size small. Some of the maxis by this brand are a lot. You can see stock photos of um, celebrities, not this exact one, but celebrities wear it. And um, yeah, so a lot of them do pretty well. A lot of people list them very high though. So the comps for something like this is probably right around 30 to 40. So I'm expecting probably about 35, but this is a dress, a career dress by M.M. Lafleur. And size four, it, I did find it's, I think it's the toy, T-O-I dress. A little bit of like a fit and flare, kind of flares out a little bit at the bottom. 
and a little bit of a cap sleeve moment. This, yeah, it's a wool dress, nice career piece, and it's a great staple piece for those people who, this is a pretty expensive brand designer, so I don't think it's gonna be a quick seller, but I do think it will sell. All right, this, it, this is a brand that I just keep saying, Courtney, stop picking it up, and then I'm like, oh, but this one's so cute. Oh, geez, Ishakti. Um, it is a size medium or size 10. This is just a little black dress, fit and flare, but it has this faux leather cap sleeve and then faux leather trim. So it's kind of that black and blue. I just think that's just such a fun little accent. The back has a little bit of elastic on the waistband, so it makes it comfortable. It has pockets and it's a midi length. So kind of a little bit of a retro flair to it. I probably should go back and add retro to the um, title, but with that one, I'll probably only get 25 to 30. I think there's a little bit of a mark on the faux leather. Um, it's not bad or anything, but all right, we are getting closer to the end. This is Jaren Ford, which I think I've sold once, but the comps aren't, are hit or miss. So this is, I just picked it up because I thought it was a really great little summer piece. Short sleeve, it's got these little strings um, on each sleeve. It's got an elastic waist. I don't think it has pockets, but just a cute little casual summer dress. It's silk, so it's good material and very lightweight, easy easy and breezy, size extra small, and I just thought it was great basic. So with this one, I'm hoping for about 30. All right, this is, I actually picked this up and didn't even look it up. It got like pushed over to the side, and um, I don't know anything about it other than, I don't think it's too fancy or anything, Talia Hancock. But these are a pair of leggings and then down the side, they have all this ruching. So I feel like it's a really great one to wear over the back of your, um, the back of your feet. You could kind of pull it, you know, kind of like ballet. Dancers kind of wear leggings that long, but I just thought they were kind of cute. They do have a tie on the back waist area and probably get 20 to 25 for that. All right, it's only half a bag on this one. This is Chaser, and it's a little bit of a distressed American flag, destroyed, I should say. Um, it's a size medium, and for anyone needing something patriotic, this is your moment. So size medium, chaser, I'll probably get about 25 for that. This one I thought was really cute. Uh, mother, I've sold one thing that was a tee or something, or a shirt. I can't remember what it was, but it didn't have great comps, so this was only a dollar. I just thought it's a funky little top. It's a size large, a little bit of a crop. Goop fellas, which I thought maybe this was combined with the goop from earlier. Maybe it is. I, I couldn't, I found it has the, the writing looks like it's a little faded, but that's the, the couple that I saw listed were new with tags and they still have the fading. So I think that's the style, but I don't think it's affiliated with Goop. I think that means something else, but I'll probably only get about 20 for that. These uh, tanks were all a dollar and I'm just trying to stock up on summer. So Spiritual Gangster just has the logo on the front. Tank top, so I think these are all size small, size small. This one is another little tank and it's got that graphic. It's kind of yoga, Buddhist, cute little casual piece with the spiritual gangster, maybe 20 to 25. Sometimes the graphics can do pretty, pretty okay for me. So uh, this is Lauren Moshi and this is the police, for the band. And here's Lauren Moshi if you haven't seen her stuff. So size small with this one. Um, she used to have better comp or stuff by her used to have better comps. I remember when I first sold her stuff, it was like close to 50. Now something like that, I might be able to get 25. All right. This is Nanette Lepore's Le Amour line. This, I just thought the print was really adorable. It's polyester. It's nothing fancy. This is not a high end line. This is a, a lower end line of hers, but I really liked the color scheme. Fun little pop of color. So maybe 15 to 18 for that one. 
This is a Zara Woman, and this is a size extra small. And it's got a little bit of like ruffle or peplum. It's not quite peplum because it's a little bit lower, but I thought that was a really great little basic with a pair of shorts. It is a little oversized, so I feel like this could easily be worn by a small as well, but uh, maybe about 15 to 20 for that one, probably 18. This is Lucky Brand, but it's got flamingos, which I thought was adorable. So Lucky Brand, size small. So again, I'm assuming all these were the same person. They were just all kind of right by each other, all, in, all marked um, as the color of the week for a dollar. So this one I was in a different section, but I'm guessing the same person, just different section because it's a long sleeve, but spiritual gangster as well. And this is a sweater. Um, this has like the pulling that a lot of Wild Fox and um, some spiritual gangsters. I just sold a, what was the brand? Oh man, I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, she ordered two of them and one of them had the typical pilling and I'm like, oh, that's just standard. But then she ended up returning, open, opening up a case on eBay because she said it's pilled all over. I'm like, that's just the style. It's not pilling. Pilling is typically like a certain area where it gets rubbed a lot, maybe against a backpack or under the arms and it's not all over. This is like a style, but I used to be pretty good about just mentioning it, <laughs> even though I thought it was obvious, but now I have to pay the shipping both ways on that one, which doesn't happen very often, but clearly she was not happy with it. She kept the other sweater though. So anyways, it happens. It's just part of business. All right. This is lovers and friends. I thought this would be a really cute little wedding guest uh, dress. It's got hot pink and it's got the lining that's kind of more of a nude color. So it really brings out the floral. This I believe is a, th this one does not have the size. It was cut off, but I believe the measurements line up to be about a size small. And because it doesn't have the tag, the size tag, um, I might only get 25 to 30 for it. And also Lovers and Friends has not been doing well for me. So it was a dollar, <laughs> you know, I'm just picking up volume right now. This is a Zara uh, tank top and I thought it was a little different. It has the ribbons that tie on the top of the shoulders. And then here's the brand. Um, size medium. I just thought it was kind of cute, a little different. So high, pair of high-waisted shorts, kind of a baby doll effect on there. I'll probably only get 18 to 20 for that. This one is interesting. It's a designer. I could not find much as far as comps, but I could find information on him, which is at least helpful. Let's string up there. Um, so Cesar Cassier but he had this line, Essential Loves, Cesar Cassier. Anyways, it's got a little bit of an animal print. It says, I can't, um, I couldn't find much as far as comps, so I aimed high with this. I wanna say I started, and it's got a little bit of a worn look, but I think that's just the style. Anyways, we'll see. I like taking chances, especially if it's dollar a day, um, and especially if I can at least Google and know that this is a designer, so someone might be searching for it at some point. And usually it does pay off for me, but it might not be a quick sell, so. All right, this is another Bowden item. This is a 10 regular dress. I thought this was a really great little career dress. People are starting to go back into offices, so business casual. You can throw a little sweater, which is typical in offices when you get cold, um, but just a nice little basic and a nice little accent around the waist. Nothing fancy. Um, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend, it does have a little button accent on the back, which I thought was adorable, but with that one, I'll probably only, cause it's nothing, it's not like a fun print or anything. That's kind of what they're known for. I'll probably only get 25 for that one is my guess. All right. I got two pairs of frame denim, same size. So I'm assuming the same person. These were not a dollar. Um, but I did just look at my stats on denim and I actually do much better on denim than I expect expected. So I feel like I need to start picking it up more. Um, obviously still being, you know, mindful of the brand, but frame lay high skinny is a common style. And I don't think the skinny jean is going away quite yet, despite what some people may want. I think it's going to be around for quite some time, but 27, kind of a darker wash. This one is a little bit more of a medium wash size 27, the same style. And 
both good condition, which is great. So with those, I think I started them, I think I'm expecting about 35 for each of those. All right, last item. This is Cupcakes and Cashmere. I should also say, I should have said this at the beginning, this was a new Goodwill for me. This was not in a great part of town. I, I just love going to new thrift stores <laughs> because I just have zero expectations. Sometimes when you go to a thrift store that you've had great luck or bad luck with, you just go in and you have that vibe. When you go in somewhere new, you're just like, we will see. And then it turns out that a lot, I mean, I, I don't know. It was a good day. I had fun. This is Cupcakes and Cashmere, which I won't pay much for, but this was, I think, 25% off. And the comps look like I should be able to get about 30 to 35, but I absolutely love this. It's a great cardigan. It's got three fourth length sleeves. They're a little bit wider. And I just really, really liked it. Size small, um, but just a very classic piece. And the stock photos looked adorable. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it. And this is not a brand that I typically pay much for, but I really liked the style on this one. So that is it for my haul. <laughs> now I've got this stuff everywhere. I hope you enjoyed. I am sourcing like crazy. I am listing like crazy. And I am so pumped to just be on a, I don't know, a good routine, a good productive routine. So I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.